internal processes. So we're measuring the internal processes. We could have the defect rates. How, how often is there defectiveness in a certain department? And again, we can compare from department to department using a rate. We can have the cycle time. How long does it take to go through the processing cycle? We can have the product costs, of course, measuring the cost, product cost, labor hours per order. How long does it take? We can, again, pull out the stopwatch and, and think about how long does it take per order to go through this process and then refine down the processes. Note, again, everything is being broken down numbers as much as possible so that we can basically do the comparison. Production days without an accident. So how long has it been without an accident? And then, of course, the financial perspective. We have, uh, obviously, the financial data, the net income, the things that we're most focused on. And then we have our ratios, uh, the ROI, return on investment. We have the sales growth. We can measure sales growth, cash flows. These are all things that have, obviously we have the financial data and we can see numerically. And uh, we have the residual income, uh, the stock price. These are all financial indicators that we can 